this time around, it was learning what his perception of black and white was. You know, we all kind of had information to move forward with, but it was really him zoning in on exactly what that was gonna look like and exactly how he was gonna light it. Promise you won't laugh. I promise I won't laugh. My exit. What? I already made my exit. We have a lot of the characters are real characters that really existed. So doing a lot of research on Marion Davis between the films that she did and then a lot of photographs because of her relationship with Hearst and being a starlet, I found this image of her. And I think the car was a gift. It was gifted to her, but she's kind of standing on the running board of this car, kind of clutching this coat that has a fur, I think it's a silver mink for a collar on. And it just inspired me for her exit scene from MGM. Instead of just putting her in this whimsical or glamorous dress, I thought, oh, I want her to have, you know, it's this exit coat. And I wanted to kind of be inspired off that image. And she was very known for having a, an extensive jewelry collection, though you don't see her wear much jewelry in her real life and in photographs. But I, I wanted her to have, you know, kind of this diamond brooch because Hearst gave her quite a bit of jewelry. 30s and 40s women's fashion had very interesting sleeves with these kind of intricate patterns for the sleeve that had either pleats or tucks or were, you know, two and three and four and five piece seams, you know, to the sleeves. For your physical eye, the coat was really, really stunning. So, you know, it was so beautiful and Amanda with her eyes and, you know, this light blue coat. I understand we've 90 days. Let's aim for 60. He's just got a month. So with Gary's character, Gary, um, you know, when he first came to us, he was pretty, he's a pretty slim, lean, in shape gentleman. So he graciously put on about 15 pounds for Mank. And luckily a lot of it came in the belly, which was where Mank was heavy. So for us, what really helped us show a progression of time with Gary, because we go from 30s to 42 with him, is showing, you know, kind of the level of where his pants fit. Men wore their trousers quite high then. As he got older, the trousers went lower and lower under his belly. You know, he always wore suspenders with his pants, which also helped frame the belly. We did his shirt collars too tight to kind of help pull the neck out and make him look heavier than he did. And then, you know, kind of keeping him a bit classic in his suitings because he wasn't a fashionable man. He wasn't a man that bought a lot of clothes. So probably his best suit he had, he would have saved for a funeral or a wedding. So that's why we have him in his nicest suit and most pulled together at the funeral for Thalberg. Because we see him at work, we see him in the writer's room, we see him on the back lot, we see him at dinner. And then when we get to when he's recovering, we wanted to show a shift not only in his age, but also in the environment that he's in, the weather that he's in, he's hot in the desert. So then we made him be much more casual then in figuring out what also would realistically work with this body cast that he had on that went from kind of his waist down to his ankle and then progresses from just the thigh to then, you know, he's on a cane. So there we kept him in really light linens and cottons and sports shirts and shorts and a lot of pajamas, like, like night gowns he would wear. And then just kept him very sweaty and very kind of airy there. And so just kind of showing the difference of, you know, what he's in this writing mode and he's in this recovery mode. He doesn't have to be presentable. He's in his own environment. He's sneaking booze and drinking all the time. We had little burn marks and ashes on his nightgown. So it was a nice progression to see him going from suiting and that are woolens then to these really summery kind of casual sporting pieces. Mank, it's Orson Welles. Of course it is. When you heard that David was going to shoot this in black and white, what was your first reaction? Very excited because I hadn't done a full project in black and white, just kind of smaller things and flashbacks. So, and I was really excited to do a full period film as well. And I was figuring out how we were going to shoot that and what actually, you know, the way he was gonna shoot black and white and what that meant and all the challenges that we would face. So for me, it was kind of great because it just made my mind think very differently of how I could see things and a new way of, of doing costumes. I need a favor, but you're gonna have to promise you won't laugh. Given the state of the world, a tall order. You're gonna, I just know you are. I have got such a hangover right now. There's just a fighting chance I won't. I mean, I guess it's like every time with him, it's the thing of looking at a picture as a whole. I feel every time I do work with him, it makes me a better, you know, part of being a filmmaker because 
his eye is so keen. So I think then you start picking up on that. And I do think with the group of people he works with, you know, we kind of all can see things that way because we're looking at what he's looking at and trying to be very mindful of a cohesive story. When I watch Mank now, I truly feel transported to that I'm watching a 1930s or 1940s film. I don't ever feel I'm watching a contemporary film. I never see anything in there that like pulls me out of it. So I think with Dave, it's like over the years, what I've learned is, and I kind of mentioned earlier, it's the authenticity that he has to a project and to a script that, you know, a lot of his stuff is so timeless. I mean, I just recently watched Fight Club again while I was in quarantine, you know, traveling and, and it's hilarious and it still holds up and it's still great. And, you know, I found so much joy in it the first time around as I did now, you know, it's just, so I do think that's the thing I learned from him is just, you know, how to really, to show the life in the characters and keep things very authentic and entertaining, but yeah, just very true to the characters.